Well, this Street Show, I am Ryan. Last weekend, I was playing in La Crosse, Wisconsin at the Midwest Music Festival. Now, La Crosse, Wisconsin is kind of a sleepy little border town on the river between Minnesota and Wisconsin. And anytime I'm in La Crosse, I have to make a pilgrimage to Dave's Guitars. Because upstairs in Dave's Guitars is a museum of every single guitar and amp you have ever wanted in history. So let's check it out. into Dave's and downstairs looks just like any other guitar store that you have been to, although very cool. But then upstairs is where the real magic happens. Now, none of these guitars are for sale. They are all part of Dave's personal guitar and amp collection. Yet, any other place where you go in America, these types of instruments are held way behind the counter and way up high where you can only look from a distance. Here, they're just right there. We are up in the vintage room now and this is absolutely insane. It's crazy every day. I don't even it. know where to start. Where So let's start with some tellies. You gotta start with tellies. So I mean, that's the start right there. 52, Telecaster and Blonde. It's absolutely ridiculous, obviously. I mean, super light. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna do that, huh? <laughs> Just about, yeah. No, this is absolutely amazing. It's super good, and it's like, you play some of these and you're just like, I remember I had to take pictures of all of these upstairs for our, our website as part of the collection for the 40th anniversary, and it's like, you're holding some of these and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta take yeah. a picture of this thing. Right. And it's just very cool, and I mean, it's just a classic. And I can't, I wish I could remember which one. It's one of these 53s here. Uh, I, I kind of termed it the dumpster telly because a gentleman brought it in and uh, he's like, here you go. And it was gonna get thrown away. He models houses. He, his brother was throwing it in the dumpster and he's like, let's wait, brought it here. And we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll take that one. Wow. <laughs> See it here, there's a rosewood telly there. Um, that one is really, really good. Super rolled edges on the board. 65 with the hang tags on it. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. Funnily enough, the gentleman who sold us this guitar came in today. He bought a tailor. <laughs> it's really, really interesting. Six. Oh yeah, the 56. I The one that always gets me here is this 57 is just, it's such a rare color, I mean, with the desert sand under it. You know, and then, I'm, to be fair, I'm always partial to some of like the more ridiculous colors. Like you have like the ocean turquoise here. This is just a good guitar too, which helps. I mean, like Placid Strats are always kind of cool and interesting. Otherwise, you know, 54 Strat, kind of the start of that there is always an interesting thing to see up here. Supers, Deluxes, you name it, it's there and it's just, in immaculate condition, obviously. I mean, some of this stuff is, looks like it came from the factory yesterday, you know? Here's an interesting rarity here. It's a, a Marshall PA head with the matching, they're four by 12s, but they're stacked. And so it's actually two separate channels so you can uh, run it as a PA. We used to have a lot more PRS here, but we do have two PRS Dragons, which are very cool, along with all the certificate stuff along with it, which is pretty crazy. You know, the inlay work is kind of mind boggling, honestly.
59V as well. And I mean, I think there's maybe 20 of those explorers made, 58, 59. Uh, this is a very, very low serial number, 1960. It, it was specced as a 59, um, has a 59 neck on it. it it's essentially uh, in everything but the year is a 59. The color is gorgeous. It's super good. And here, I'll grab that one down too, just. This is also rarity and oddity, factory black, uh, 56 Les Paul. The 61 Casino right here. Uh, this guy right here, there's a Sheraton next to it. Oh, that's gross. Oh, I love it so much. I love every piece of it. Oh, it's so dumb. And I love every little bit of it. <laughs> Just here, it's here as a piece of history, essentially, for anyone to see. I mean, I always tell people, like, even if you don't like guitars, you come up here and you're like, this is clearly historical. It's something you you want to see just to, to enjoy, like, the rock history that is here. I mean, not just rock history, I mean, music history. I mean, between Strats and Les Pauls and, you know, yeah. the jazz boxes and the Ricks, like, there's engineering history here. There's guitar history. There's all sorts of really interesting things, and it's preserved, obviously, extremely well. I mean, all of these guitars here are playable and have strings on them. They're not being, you know, abused or, or hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're just here for everyone to see and enjoy. Uh, that's gonna be it for me. I had a blast. Thank you to Brett for taking time out of your day. Dave wasn't around, but Dave, thanks for showing us your stuff. This is such a cool opportunity for people to have. And if you are ever traveling through Southwestern Wisconsin, maybe uh, mend your trip a little bit to swing through lacrosse and check out Dave's awesome museum of guitar history. <clears throat> All right. Uh... The thing I think is funny is that I just about tripped over a 61st. <laughs> I, I've done that more than once. <laughs> <laughs>